Hey vegan hearts! Um, in today's video I want to talk about the reality of vegan or high carb vegan weight loss. And we all want to lose weight quickly, we always want to lose weight, we're always obsessed with not having the body of our dreams while we're stuffing our face with high fat, high processed, animal corpses. And we blame the sugar, we blame our genes, we blame, I don't know, but um, we never admit that it's because we we eat not foods, we eat crap. So, and when we suddenly want to change, we want it quickly, we want it now. We want it like immediately. And when we don't see quick results, we just give up easily. We say this method or whatever doesn't work. So first of all, veganism is not a diet. It's not a diet. It's, um, to me, um, non-veganism is the source, the number one source, or the number one, it's the source of all social injustice in this world, and it's the source of most of your personal problems and um, most of the personal problems we have, most of the physical problems we have, um, it's the sores. And when you go vegan, veganism is the solution, veganism is the truth. So veganism to me is not a diet, it's the path of truth. And if you want to succeed, you won't succeed if you see it as a diet. And now I'm going to explain you why. So in June 2016, I measured my belly, the circumference of my belly, and it was 40 inches. So now, it's like over two years later in October, so I measured in June 2016, and now we have October 2018. I measured my belly again and it's 31 inches. That is like 9 inches less. All right? It's a lot. I mean, it's um I had to buy new clothes. Everything is too big. Um In between I had to make um my winter jacket smaller. And I have to say, I lost a lot of inches around my belly. It's, it makes a lot of difference. But I still have, my belly still pokes out. It's embarrassing, I don't want to show it. But um, let's say I look like, when I don't suck my belly in, my belly is like I can suck it in and it looks, it looks pretty flat when I'm dressed. Um, when I lie loose, it looks like maybe I'm... In an early pregnancy. It's a small belly, but it's a belly, all right? It's pro protruding and sticks out, pokes out, and um, I don't know why, but I can, I can like suck my belly in, and it looks like um, flat when I have, when I'm dressed. So I assume it's because I have weak abdominals. I mean, this is not a good promotion for a diet, all right? I say I lose nine inches in two years, um, and after you do this diet, and after the diet, you're skinny fat. That's what I am now. I lost a lot of volume on my body, so the big fat belly is gone. But I, you know, I have a fat small belly, and this is not a good promotion for a diet. So why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? I'm doing this because I think it's wrong that we use, eat, and kill animals for human purposes. 
Um, I think it's wrong that we believe that eating eggs and meat and fat and processed foods is like sort of um, good for humans when it's not, it's actually not. And um, I think it's wrong that we believe that life, um, that it's just a part of life that we get sick and that we feel bad about ourselves, that we hate ourselves, that we get depressed and whatever, that we get cancer, all right? So I'm doing this because I don't get cancer, okay? I don't make cancer for myself. My family members, uh, my aunt, my uncle, my, my grandmother, they all died of cancer. Different sorts of cancers. Uh, my mother is a cancer survivor, so I'm not going to, I'm not going down this path. I am healthy and I'm dying healthy and wealthy, all right? This is what I want to do and I focus on that. I started affirming that I'm going to die healthy when my aunt died. So it took a while um, until I discovered the high carb, low fat, vegan path. But um, eventually I got to it. So another number is my thigh number. So I, I measured my thighs uh, in June 2016, um, 25 inches. So the circumference, all right, for my upper thigh. And today it's like 19 inches. This is a difference. It makes it six inches less. I can feel I needed to. I needed new trousers. I need new pants. I um. I'm really. I I'm getting really. Yeah, slim. But I'm skinny fat now. So I lost a lot of volume. Like I said before. Uh, when I pinch myself, my belly, my, my, my buttocks, and my thighs, there's, let's say there's a layer, some thick layer of fat still on my body. So it's still a lot of body fat. Um, but I don't care, really. I, I mean, the feeling, the progress... I never understood the saying that you should enjoy the progress, but I enjoy the progress because I know next year I will even feel better, I will look better, and um, my there's there's of course okay there's vanity involved, all right. Um, I got on this, I discovered this because of the role models on YouTube who are. Um, on this vegan thing but if I would have stayed with these uh, superficial reasons like um, how I look or how I may look after being on this thing I would never stay stick with it because um, it's not strong enough all right it's it's not strong enough if you are vegan in a non-vegan world you have to have really serious reasons why I want to do that and it's not enough and like I said before for me veganism is the truth and um, to me the truth is that non-veganism is the curse you know it's the evil the root of all evil and um, there was a point where I was thinking okay what's the alternative I mean all these vegans um, showing where in the end you're gonna you're gonna go. So when I now when I what's the alternative to that? Like going back and binging on processed foods and animal products, gaining all the way back. So there was a point where I felt a little bit trapped, but in a good way because there was only one way to go, and this was like the vegan route, go further, and I did it. And I'm still not there, right? But um, I know there's no turning back. Um, every day I ask myself, so how can I make this work for me? Now the holidays are coming. Um, I just think about how can I make this work for me? How can I stay vegan over the holidays? How can I stay vegan today? Sometimes it's really an hourly thing. How can I stay vegan right now? 
right? And it happens. It happens that I don't eat enough. It happens that I get frustrated or whatever. And it's very easy for the old uh, habits and the old um, patterns to kick it, to kick back in and then dominate. But I never allow this. I I always find a way. All right. So um. Yeah, that's it for today. So if you're going vegan for for your for weight loss, um, if you're doing a high carb low fat vegan diet or whatever for weight loss, that is not a good reason. That is not a strong enough reason to do it. Um, you have to discover the truth in it, the truth concerning the animals that it's wrong that we kill and eat them. The truth about that it's not healthy to consume those animal processed crap oil fat products and what we do to the planet. That humanity is destroying the planet. The planet is not like dying because it's just the way it goes. It's because we caused it. And non-veganism is a huge factor. Alright, um, I'm going to finish off this video with a request and I ask you please Go vegan, uh, veganize it, veganize your mind, veganize your heart, veganize your life. Bye!